Interdisciplinary research is trying to look at what the challenges of the day are. What are the big issues that we're looking at and how do we solve them? You think about things such as diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, personalised health, growing plants for food and for drugs and things like this. You need multiple disciplines to do that. We want to really to, to push the boundaries and to be able to do this, we need different brains coming from different experiences, different way of thinking. We need to compare and share ideas. If we want to build a team, then we actually have to bring people with different expertise together. Talking about One Health. We're working on foot and mouth measles and Ebola. A cluster hire can change the course of a university research program by hiring one there, one there, one there, and all of a sudden you have this powerhouse that you can assemble more or less overnight. It's magic and it's the future. I come into work every day as if I'm playing in a sandpit. In this building, I can walk next door to meet a statistician. I can walk a few doors further on to meet a sociologist or an anthropologist. The Hook Institute is really a, a place for innovation, so they kick-started Plant Village. Eight years later, we are engaging across an array of individuals and institutions globally. So in a sense, we've made the sand pit global. We put this wonderful building up, the Millennium Science Complex, which is the material science people and the life science people. The Huck facilities actually exist in a total of six buildings. They range from genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, microscopy. Corporate partners uh, come in to use our facilities as well because we have cutting edge technology, cutting edge research and scientists of world class caliber. One of the easiest ways to describe the Huck Institutes and its core facilities is in terms of what we don't have. It's a very short list. Our graduate programs offer the opportunity to work with the world's best experts in a variety of different subjects. Enzymes have the power to turn Mount Everest into Mount Nittany. We've got one of the best centers for infectious disease dynamics in the country, perhaps in the world. I'm working on a disease called Peste de Petit Ruminant virus in northern Tanzania. It affects about 80% of the world's small global sheep and goat population. We're just really interested in making strides, preparing for the upcoming eradication efforts for this disease. The first impression was it's really friendly. It has really diverse research topics, and it encourages students to explore all the um, potential options by doing lab rotations and doing our first year. It was a really awesome platform for graduate training. I work hard, but I also find balance in my life. I enjoy going on hikes. There's beautiful mountains and trails around here. I've joined Club Frisbee to stay fit and exercise after work. I love being a graduate student because I have a family, I have a wife, I have a kid, I have great health coverage, and I get paid. I love what I do because discovering new things, that's what really gets me excited when I wake up in the morning, is today I may find something that literally no one in the world knows. In multi- and transdisciplinary teams of scientists, you want people who play well together. And having all these people together in the same place is really important when you're trying to solve complex, multi-layered problems in global health, epidemiology, or infectious disease. And I don't know another university that puts all that together in one place. The Huck really enables me to do research at various scales, from the small all the way to the big. They're really preparing me for just about any kind of career broadly, and I'm, I'm really thrilled about that. The technology that we have now means that the limiting factor in terms of what you can do in your research is your own imagination. Penn State is really rocking. We're doing the most remarkable things here. We've got the instruments, we've got the faculty, we've got the environment to do that. Come here 
and you will see it. Come and be part of our team.